Hi Capricorn friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. This is going to be your May 2021 love reading. I'm using Crystal Visions. Great deck. I use this even for my personal readings that involve love, which are, you know, a lot. So I, I am delicate with this deck. Capricorn, those of you that are new to the channel, thank you guys so, so much for subscribing. You know, I, I've gained a lot in the past year, and I'm going to reward you guys. I am going to start going live on YouTube, doing a weeklies for you like I do on Facebook. If you don't, if you haven't, you know, found me on Facebook, you can click the link right below. But really, thank you all so, so much. I'm, i I got to show my appreciation. <laughs> I think that spirit is saying, yeah, you do. Capricorn. Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising. Spirit, universe. Capricorn. May 2020. Tell you what. Capricorn, you feel amazing, like, really. Okay. Let's see here. Leo, son of with strength. Wow, the Two of Cups. You guys are my fourth sign, and it's been out for Virgo, Aries. I think Taurus. Man, I think every I think every sign so far. You guys are my fourth. Queen of Wands. Five of Wands. Four of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Interesting. Death, also a sign of Scorpio. Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with a water sign. You could have water in your chart. Strength. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, but I do see a very strong soulmate connection here, Capricorn. With that, I'm telling you, really, you, you definitely have the Two of Cups. Deep connection, someone that you both feel drawn to each other. They, I mean, really. Some of you could be dealing with it with uh, any fire sign. And it really, any fire sign, even a water sign, male or female, I mean, it is an overall energy. I mean, if you're male, you're definitely dealing with a female. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, definitely, I mean... You know, this could be you if you have water in your chart, Capricorn. You know, the strength card is telling you to just listen, you know, be calm, be cool, be patient, don't give up, don't give in to fear. 
I know I do feel some of you patience and waiting is definitely needed. I think some of you are feeling very frustrated, angry at your partner for whatever reason. But again, just you need to be patient. I, I do see a very strong soulmate connection here. I mean, you know, five of wands, petty, it's petty shit, petty fights, arguments, disagreements, just, you know, misunderstandings, not seeing eye to eye. It's just petty stuff. It could be that, you know, there's differences between you. You know, this could have made the person that you're dealing with you know, take a, a break, take a step back. This is usually someone definitely, you know, taking a break, needing some space. You know, someone has a lot on their mind. It could be, you know, that, uh, you know, all the fighting has made someone kind of pull away. You know, the Three of Pentacles, I mean, even in, the, I mean, this deck, I mean, I, that's why I use it in, in private readings because, you know, you know, Capricorn, this is Virgo towards Capricorn. This is your energy. You're not even looking at him. Your back is turned away from him. So, you know, it's, it's saying clearly here that you know, you have to work together. You know, it's, it is definitely clear here that there, you know, there is a deep connection with someone. You know, some of it might not be perfect. You might be very different. They're definitely, like, going on. Unfortunately for some of you, there might have been a separation you both have to work together and, you know, get on the same page if you want to make the relationship work. And again, with strength card, I think you have definitely been patient. Don't let yourself get dragged into, you know, negative bullshit, Capricorn. A neg you know, a negative mindset. I mean, I do think some of you or someone is definitely very, very confused on what's going on within the relationship or maybe someone has, you know, choices. I mean, there's definitely confusion, lack of clarity, feeling definitely emotional for some of you. Some of you, you know, you might... Be ready, to, you know, to move on to a new relationship. Or some of you have already done this. You know, the Eight of Cups. It's someone, you know, walking away. I mean, really walking away. I mean, definitely walking right toward the light. And I mean, really. In both cards. Choosing to look to the future. And the death card, you know, you're you're looking at ending a relationship. Not for all of you, but definitely, definitely some of you, uh, you know, because you're confused. You know, you're definitely confused. Especially if you have water in your chart. You know, wondering, or you're well, dealing with a water sign, or wondering if, you know, you should... You know, still be with this person. You know, maybe some of you have already made your decision. For others of you, you know, with the Seven of Cups, it could be that you're not seeing things clearly. You know, if you've chosen to not leave someone, it could be someone has chosen to walk away from you. Like I said before, it could it could be someone just, you know, needs some, some space. Like distancing themselves from you. And this probably has you very confused, you know, blindsided, wondering why, you know, why is this person doing this? You don't understand why they're backing away. You know, with death, there is major transformation, Capricorn. 
there's major endings, a new beginning. Again, you know, you have deep, strong soulmate connection to someone. Or for some of you, it could be someone new. And you're choosing to leave this person because you don't want to be in this relationship anymore. anymore. You just don't. Others of you, you know, your partner, spouse just might need some, uh, you know, away time. You know, and I feel like you guys, you know, someone really does need time to figure things out. You know, they might have too much going on in their head. But again, you know, just be patient. That's it. You have to be patient with this. I do see you could be, you know, very emotional. You might not be seeing things clearly after someone walks away from you. But there is a huge transformation for you this month. Just be patient. Really. All right, I'm going to pull some. Um, after tarot, you know, they are future predictive. These are only red in the upright. Wow, chariot, victory, success, moving forward with this relationship with two of wands. You're holding the whole world in your hands. Oh wow, there's two cards here actually that wow, the death card again on the death card. Virgo Taurus. Scorpio, they can have that in their chart, but they're the ones that are creating like just a beautiful new beginning. Like there is a new beginning available to you. I mean, like, like this is definitely the right choice, the right decision. Like, the person who was needing some space, space, whatever, like, you're, you're going to work together. You might, you know, you're going to need to be a little bit patient. But by the end of the month, I'm telling you, Capricorn, you're, you're just going to be emotionally very, very happy. You could be traveling. It's with your soulmate. It could be a Leo. A Virgo, Taurus, or Scorpio. Well, they have that in their chart. Cancer, Pisces, female. If you're male, female. Wow, look at that. Even the hangman. People, you could, somebody, somebody's been stuck, really. Definitely stuck. Well, could be, could be you men. You're under there. I don't know why that's doing that. There we go. Oh, jeez. Um, but, I mean... I mean, the death card twice? Listen, Capricorn. Major big endings that are going to bring you, like, clarity, happiness, enlightenment. I mean... This is happening. These are future cards. I use them in my private readings. 
future. Virgo, Gemini, or a Scorpio. Scorpio, you have twice. Like, that's endings, new beginnings, or it could be the same person or two different people, but it doesn't matter. You've made a decision. You're, you're just going. You're going for it. You're just going for it. You're going for it. I love it, Capricorn. I absolutely love it. I'm so happy for you guys. Absolutely. I will see you guys soon. Take care. I love you guys. See you soon.